Have you ever noticed when you're swiping through your photos on your phone that there's some movement in there? On your iPhone, that's called Live Photo. I want to show you where it comes from and what you can do with it. Then Samsung and Pixel have similar features. On Samsung, it's called a motion photo, and on the Pixel, it's top shot. iPhone is by far the most feature rich, so that's where I'm going to spend most of the time today. And then I will show you just a little bit of Samsung and tell you about the Pixel. First, how to take a live photo with an iPhone. It's, in, it's just in your camera. You tap on the little bullseye in the upper right hand corner. You make sure that you're set to photo and then you just snap a picture with the shutter button like normal. And I want to, I want to show you that. And one of the really interesting things is it captures motion before you snap the shutter button. So I'm going to ask Jim to use his hands and count one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to snap the shutter on three and then show you the results. So here is the Apple camera and it's this button right up at the top. Notice I'm in, I'm in standard photo mode and that little bullseye, I tapped it once and it says live off. I tap it again and it says live. So the live feature is now on. And Jim's going to go one, two, three, three, four, five. So I tap the shutter button on the count of three. And let's see what I got. So I see a photo that looks like just a still shot of when he's holding up three fingers. But if I touch and hold on it, You see all, you see the whole count of five. So then, what can you do with it? You can, you can pick a frame. So this is all on the iPhone. And how you pick a frame is you go into edit mode. So on this photo, I tap the edit button. It's this little sliders button. And then you tap the live button. And then you can pick another frame. So I can go to where he just had up one. If I wanted to have I'm number one, and you tap make key photo. But let's look at some better examples. So here is a motion photo that I think is a little bit more interesting. It was somebody jumping into the water, scuba diving. And she's halfway into the water, but touch on it. You see, I get her actually jumping. I would like to have her mid air. Edit live and find the one where she's midair and make key photo. Now that is the photo that will show. When I tap done, that's the photo that shows. But there's lots, lots more. Right up here where it says live, I can make this picture loop, meaning she will just continuously be jumping into the water. That is a loop. I could also bounce, meaning she goes into the water and back out, <laughs> into the water and back out. Or I could long exposure. Now this is not an appropriate picture for long exposure. I'm just going to go back to live. Now here is one where I told Jim, my, my guinea pig for all things photo, <laughs> I told him to blink a lot. So the, the photo that got captured has his eyes closed. If I edit and go into the live mode, I can find one where his eyes are open. There, his eyes are open there. Make key photo and done. And this one, he, she was serving us champagne and I wanted her to be looking at us and smiling and I know, there. That's what I want. Edit, live, and find, find that frame. There, much better. Make key photo and done. Now here is one that is appropriate for the long exposure. This is a waterfall. If I tap and hold, you see there is motion and there is sound, but sound isn't important for this purpose. Live 
and long exposure. And you'll see the water become a soft waterfall, I call it. And it's, do, it's working some other magic, too. It's making sure that there isn't any motion in the background. It's stabilizing the background as it does a long exposure for the water. Way cool. And the last thing you can do is you can, if I, you just tap on the three dots, if I'm back to just a normal live photo, one of the things you can do is save as video. So instead of the photo and the video, it just becomes a video. It makes it easier to share that way if you want the motion. To review, with an Apple Photos, you can pick a different frame for the still shot. That's called the key photo. You can save the video separately. You can make it loop or bounce, that's fun. And you can make it in a long exposure. What if you have a Samsung phone? It has a similar feature called motion photo. And once again, it's just like taking a normal photo, but if the motion setting is on, it gets you not quite as much as the iPhone, but it still has a couple seconds of video along with it. On a Samsung, mine happens to be an S21 Ultra. Not all models of Samsung will have this feature. But if I go into camera, I see this little play button icon. The second button from the right is looks like a play button. If you tap it, it says motion photo off. Tap it again, it says motion photo on. So with motion photo on and you just take a picture, you get that couple seconds of motion. Let me show you some examples. And I'm just going to use Google Photos now to show you these. So here is a bird that is fishing. And if you've ever tried to take a picture and catch them when, they, when their head hits the water, it's impossible. How am I seeing that motion? It's this little play button right here. This is in Google Photos. You can play the motion or you can tap pause and just see the still. And you get the proper frame by scrolling up and then you see all the shots in, in, this, in the motion photo. And you can get whatever one you want. If I want him just, just aiming for the water, I can take that and you tap save a copy. So instead of making a key frame, it saves a whole other photo. You still have your original motion photo and you have the still. Then actually, if that still is all that you really want, you might want to go back and delete the motion photo because they are big files with that two seconds of video. Here's the review. Using Google Photos on Android, you can view the motion from either iPhone Live Photos or Android Motion Photos. Just click the play icon. You can save the video separately by swiping up, tapping export, and then video. Or you can pick a different frame, and I showed you that. I do want to show you export as animated GIF. So same thing with this bird. Let's swipe up, and then look at the, all the options and there is export. Export and GIF and export. Now I'll go look at that. And there is the animated GIF. So I can post this anywhere and that motion will be there and will will repeat. Then just a word about the pixel. On the Pixel, the similar feature is called Top Shot. It captures less time than the Apple or the Samsung, and it's all before the shutter button. It does not capture sound, but it has that same ability to pick the best frame. And my favorite example, really, is if you've ever tried to capture lightning, you know how difficult it can be, but with motion photo, no problem. As soon as you see the lightning, you snap the shot, and you get 
the couple seconds before you snapped it and you can find the frame where there is the lightning. Pretty cool. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and this was fun with photos.